have it. Can he take advantage? Performance at the moment with being two sets up, but he, he looks at his average. He'll, he'll think he should. Be, he needs to up that a little bit. I keep saying that top top half now. Phil Taylor's out the way. Really has opened up. Thornton. Well, that's a couple of one forties on the trot. Be over the moon with them. Great dance. Bo Anderson. Kick the pressure on with his second 180. Thought it was settled for leaving tops here. 81. Oh, he's missed the big 20 and head in hands. That was really sloppy. Just needed to make sure of the big 20 to leave tops. 16. Shouldn't make a difference. Well, require 59. Waste to the dart at double top. Is it gonna be a problem? 19. It may be. So it's now Anderson. These are the chances that you've got to take out. I'd stay on that treble 20 if I was him. Yeah, I'd have stayed there, Stu. He had a perfect guide for the treble 20. 79. Well, what will you require? It's not what the Aussie wanted. Double 10. Double five. Oh, good dart. Last dart in hand. And if you know Anderson stood behind, that really is a, a big blow for the Australian. He was magnificent in beating Colin Lloyd, wasn't he? In a sudden death shootout in the first round. But uh, at the moment, you have to say being outplayed so far by Robert Thornton. his fourth of the match and if I have to identify something in Bo Anderson's game he's going to have to up he hits a 140 or a 180 and he's not following it but Robert Thornton is and that's where Rob's getting you know two or three dart over Anderson on every leg and here we go again here we go again just a little under pitch and I know we've had two nine darters already in this tournament Surely the way these guys are hitting the 180s now, we're going to have perhaps three, four, maybe even half a dozen. Unlucky. Well, Steve Brown and Jamie Caven. Missing double 12. 57. To add well, to the nine dark tally at the Alley Pally. Can Thorns have threatened on one, two, four? So Bo Anderson returning here 39. to win only his second well, leg 14. of the match. Well Third done. Well done. Bo Anderson. Third leg, Robert Lathrone first. Game on. Well, you know, whatever happens, the Andersons have earned between them over £30,000 as it stands from this World Championship. 81. Both booked on flights to go back to Australia on Monday for Christmas. 100. Bo with the earlier flight will arrive on Christmas Eve. Kyle with the later flight will arrive home on Christmas Day. Bo Anderson though needs a darting miracle you would say from here if he wants to cancel that flight and book another one for later on in the month Robert Thornton in this match so far has thrown more sloppy darts and I think I've seen him throw all year you know just wasting darts going for the big 20 hitting the one I think that may be just finding the heat a little bit overpowering up there. We've mentioned it's a little bit under the weather, and as the, the game goes on, that stage gets hotter and hotter. The heat of the crowd moves on to that stage. But this would be 
An absolute perfect set up from Robert Thornton. The fifth for him of the match, seven in total. Well, if he could play like this when he's not feeling 94. well, Robert, you're averaging 95. I wonder what he can offer for the rest of the event. Game show on the third leg. Robert Thornton, full leg mode to throw first. Game on. Well, there is, there is some cooling air down there, which is why Robert Thornton is going down on his haunches and uh, getting a bit of fresh air, cool air, to try and cool down. He's stood behind Anderson now, wiping Aiden. the sweat off his brow, off his head, the Scot. But he's doing OK. He's doing better than OK. Uh, you were talking about the top half of the draw and how it's opened up. I was mentioning that the winner of this plays John Partle, Wes Newton, and that little group is in the same quarter as Michael Smith and Peter Wright. So, for someone, out of the names I've just mentioned, a place in the semi-finals. Well, I ran out Fulton. And certainly Robert Thornton. The way he's been playing, we'll have one eye on that. There's no question. He is playing some good darts, but as the game goes on, and, and it is a sign that he is under the weather, it's not just the heat that's getting the Thornton, because he's played on this big stage and Blackpool at the Winter Gardens for the match play. It gets really hot, probably the hottest stage. He can play out there, no problem. So it is him being under the weather a bit, because I can assure you, Robert Thornton just gets on with the game. He, He's not a winger, Stuart, is he? 57. Well, we understand that, that Thornton actually asked if he could have a break, an unscheduled break, after this third set. Normally the breaks in the best of seven are after sets one, two and four, but Thornton has now agreed that he will play on after this set. Really struggling. Robert, you require 120. Scott's in strife. But still playing extremely well. For three sets. Tim Game Hill, brilliant darts. Well, I'd like to see him later on in the tournament when he's 100%. Both set, both set, both and Russ Bray the there, just having a word with Robert Thornton, asking if he was OK. He's closing in. On victory, he's three sets to the good. We've got to see now whether he can last the pace, Rod.